is going to change every industry. In fact, it's a very unusual technology in that regard in that it's a horizontal enabling layer. Today we talk about AI first companies like OpenAI and Anthropic and Mistral and so on and so on and so on. There are so many startup companies that are kind of AI companies of various kinds. And that's normal for this phase. But that is not the biggest impact that AI is going to have. The biggest impact that AI is going to have is it is going to affect every company in the world. It is going to make their quality go up and their productivity go up. Uh, it, it's, I mean, by every company, I literally mean every company, every manufacturing company, every hotel, every you know, consumer products company, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so that is hard to fathom, but it's real. There is no doubt, we don't know how long it will take exactly, we don't know how quickly that transition will occur, and it'll probably occur at different rates in different industries, but that is very real. Now, what the stock market does, which is when we think of bubbles, we think of valuations and market caps and things like this, and how many billions of dollars are being invested in these six people at a $20 billion valuation, even though they just started yesterday, right? That's very unusual behavior. This, investors don't usually give a team of six people a couple of billion dollars with no product. It's rare, and that's happening today. But the great thing about industrial bubbles, this is a kind of industrial bubble, as opposed to financial bubbles, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. If you go back, like the, the 90s had a biotech bubble, and there were a bunch of uh, pharma startup companies that were designing drugs and using new techniques, and the world got very excited. The investment world got very excited. As a group, they all lost money. But we did get a couple of life-saving drugs. A bubble, like a, a, a banking bubble, the crisis in the banking system, that's just bad. That's like 2008. And so that's, you, those bubbles society wants to avoid. The ones that are industrial are not nearly as bad. It could even be good because when the dust settles and you see who are the winners, society benefits from those inventions. They still get those life-saving drugs. And that's what's going to happen here too. This is real. The benefits to society from AI are going to be gigantic. And if we go back 25 years ago, when, when the internet was in that bubblish moment, no one would have predicted a lot of the industrial benefits exactly. of that industrial bubble. And the fiber, huge investment yes. that were put in infrastructure. It's a perfect example that all of that fiber optic cable that got laid, and by the way, the companies who laid all that cable went out of business. But they the literally went remained. bankrupt. But the fiber optic cable was still there, and we got to use it. And the telco companies who owned the customers and who had a very strong moat yes. ended up not being the companies that emerged. That's right. And a lot of the infrastructure that was laid for e-commerce ended up actually working. Yes. And, and in, in, in some ways, what, what is really important in the, mo in the moment we're living now is on one side to be extremely optimistic that the societal and beneficial consequences of AI like we had with internet 25 years ago are real and there to stay. A hundred percent. And by the way, it's not even just AI. We're, we are all gifted. Everybody 